Let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Head to Oyster Bay. Okay, so Vito, what was the one thing you missed the most when you was in a camp? Freedom. Yeah, well, but besides that? Nah, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. Now you're getting closer. <laughs> what are you guys, taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna have a ball... <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and booze? Ah, uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? Alberto and that asshole Luca were taking guys into their family for a fee, but we had no idea they were charging that much. Uh, they're gonna have to answer for their sins soon. So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. Well, uh... Yeah, yeah. Because, uh... Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man, and, uh... Oh, no! Yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, scram, baby. So, Vito, listen. I work for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. All right. And to a bright future together. Touching I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. Carlo's a real smart guy. <laughs> He's into, uh, uh, you know, astrology. You mean astronomy. Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. You shut your goddamn pie hole. If you wanna oh. use your mouth. You fellas ready to go? Uh, uh, <sighs> yeah, let's go. Uh, hey, yeah, get up, Joe! Hey, 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 h
I'm going home. Merlin and Kelly. Good night, you whores. Hey, where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it. Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all of us. Yeah! Next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less booze. <laughs> So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I just uh, Zeech in the showers, huh? <laughs> <sighs> what the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the... What the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? Ah, no, no, he's in a trunk. What? What? Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Hey, since when does business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk? From dusk till dawn. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I spent. We'll figure something out. Where's the figure? All we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got a spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. <sighs> you got a shovel? Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? Yeah, a little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. And hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench back here is fucking killing me. Now, I'm gonna hurl! Uh, too late, Vip- <laughs> Ah, Christ, Eddie! That, that fucking reeks! Oh, hey, it's his car. Yeah, but that smell, plus the other smell. The only way it could get worse now is if he craps himself.
Classic Radio, ECLA. It's to hear from yesteryear. All right, we're here. <clears throat> Vito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? <clears throat> That's great. That's just great. Yeah. <clears throat> Almighty! How long this guy been in here, Reddy? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. Oh, it's just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. Boom. Hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump him in. Finally. Done. <sighs> okay. Now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any help ah, here. Fine, either. whatever. Hey, fellas. How about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to This go. wasn't supposed to be part of your homecoming party, but Good it's night, nice out here, ain't it? Well, I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. You guys kidding me with this? Oh my god, poor Dino.
Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one, big time. Leave Eddie's <laughs> car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up. Hey, shut up, you whore. Come on. Look you had enough, Eddie. Girls. You're going to so bed. Get to you Come on. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. Stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Vito, come on down! Jesus Christ. <laughs> 